this this is very hard to believe. Couldn't believe this when I read it, but it really does show how far WWE has fallen ratings-wise in the UK, which has always been a hot base for them because they don't go over there very often. There's a lot of wrestling fans in the UK. I know, like, as far as my show, yes, it is predominantly people based in the US who listen to my show, but by far... Uh, the next largest pool of listeners that I have all come from countries in the UK. So the UK has a very big wrestling fan base there. Uh, but this, again, shows how far WWE has fallen in popularity, at least in terms of the people willing to stay up at 1 o'clock in the morning and watch their TV shows. And it shows, I think, why this new BT Sport deal that they struck a few months ago might make things worse and not better. Raw last Monday drew a whopping three thousand viewers in the uk you heard that right three thousand viewers in the observer Meltzer says at first people thought maybe it was some kind of computer glitch but upon checking it was an accurate number now to compare the october 7th raw which i believe was that was the raw that i think they invited tyson fury to come get an open mic to address what happened on that first uh, Smackdown on Fox with Braun Strowman and Tyson Fury is you know a big name over in the UK uh, that raw episode on October 7th drew 48,000 viewers the next week it drew 38,000 and then this past week it was down to just 3,000 it, it just it almost seems impossible just saying that <laughs> now Impact Wrestling you know it, admittedly in a better time slot had 77,000 viewers on October 18th. AEW Dynamite airing on the main ITV channel on October 14th. That was that Monday replay. Did 232,000 viewers. Now, ITV, I think, is the biggest channel over there, so that makes sense. But that's, I mean, that's a huge disparity in the number of viewers. I mean, 3,000, I mean, that reads like crisis numbers to me in the UK. And it is surprising, given how much of an appetite that they have uh, for WWE, or it seems like uh, they, they have over there for WWE. Or maybe it's not as hot as it used to be. I mean, my UK folks listening to this right now can chime in on this and let me know in the uh, Facebook comments when the link goes up, or YouTube, or wherever you're listening to this, you can chime in and, and give me a reality check on the situation with WWE over there. And if you think things are poised to get better, or do you think things are poised to get even worse with this BT Sport deal? When they move from Sky to BT Sport, it seems to me like they're probably going to get worse before they get better.